All right, today we're going to look at the Bitax Gamma 601. We're going to compare two different versions, one from ixtech.xyz and the other from bitcoinmerch.com. After we do the teardown, we're going to reassemble and add on the Bitchin Sync. Then we're going to take a look at how these two units compare against each other before and after the new heatsink. For this video, both miners were set to 100% fan speed for an equal comparison. Now, let's take a look at the IX Tech version of this Bitax Gamma miner. It has a nice two-tone approach with the black on white design. Here, looking at the display on this unit, we can see it currently sits at 57 degrees Celsius stock. If we turn it to the side, we can see an aluminum heat sink and our standard four-pin fan connector. The 90 degree power plug adapter that this comes with as well is a nice feature to have. All right, now let's take a look at the model from Bitcoin Merch. It follows a two-tone color profile as well, this one black with orange and gold. Here looking at the display, we can see this unit is currently at 64.5 degrees Celsius stock. That's with the fan running at 100%. Let's start with the IX Tech unit teardown. Looking at the back of this unit, you will see two pressure attached plastic mounts. I'm sure they make a special tool for removing this. If you know the name of this tool, comment down below. Uh, however, small pliers or tweezers will do the trick. Squeeze the sides and either push or pull out the plastic piece in the middle. Afterwards, the heat sink should pull right off. Make sure to disconnect the fan as well. Here you can see the old thermal paste that was on this heat sink. It still looks pretty fresh as this miner's only a couple of weeks old. The fan comes with a 3D printed enclosure that sits on top of the heatsink and covers the fan and gives it a nice design. However, I'm going to go ahead and remove the fan from this cover. Although it does look pretty cool, I'm going to be reattaching the fan using M3 self-tapping screws. Here is the teardown of the Bitcoin Merch version. This video has been sped up as the steps were very similar. Now, very quickly, I'm going to clean off the old thermal paste and prepare the new heat sink. To clean off the paste, I just use standard 70% rubbing alcohol. Alright, now we're about to install the Bitchin Sink. First, before I install any new component, I always clean it to make sure there's no dust or debris. Looking at the bottom, you can see the CNC mill etches. This could have been a little better in my opinion. A nice flat, even sand would have been nice. However, it still looks great, and I doubt this will make any impact to performance. Now for this, I'm using Noctura NT-H1 Thermal Paste. You can find a link for this in the description of the video below. This is a non-conductive thermal paste. It's very important that it's non-conductive. And all we need is just the tiniest drop in the center of this chip. Once we apply the heat sink, all of this will spread out nice and smooth. Next, I'll locate the screws. These screws will go in through the back of the circuit board and attach the heat sink. It does not have safety stops. You need to make sure you tighten this down with extreme caution. It does not tighten, or it should not tighten, all the way. I'm going to place the heat sink directly on top and make sure the holes are aligned as I place it down. I found this also works better if you flip it upside down and place the board on top of the heat sink. That way you can directly put the screws in and start to tighten them down. So now on the bottom, I finished screwing in the heat sink. Again, be careful to screw them in evenly and just until they touch the board. Once you have each screw just touching the board, give each one a quarter to a half turn to help compress it down a little bit more. You should examine the sides of the heat sink where it meets the board. You want a nice even gap slightly around the board. The height of this gap is basically the height of the chip on the board. Again, it's important, do not tighten this all the way down. There should be a gap around this heat sink and the board. Now, I'm going to attach the fan to the heat sink. For this, I'm using M3 by 20 self-tapping screws. I'll include a link in the description below. You want to align the fan and start by placing a screw in one corner and tighten it by hand just until it's snug. Repeat this process for each corner. 
Now continue tightening each screw down. I typically perform three to four turns and move to the next screw. Now we're going to repeat this process, sped up, for the Bitcoin Merch version of this miner. Alright, both miners have been running for several minutes until they have stabilized. So now we can read how they are performing. After tearing down the units and applying the Bitchin heatsink, we noticed a drastic improvement with the IX tech sitting at 47.8 degrees Celsius. That's a 9.2 Celsius drop. And the Bitcoin Merch version with the largest improvement down from 64.5 degrees Celsius to 46.8 degrees Celsius. This is a huge 17.7 Celsius drop in temperature. Either way, this is a huge thermal reduction from applying the Bitchin heatsink to both of these miners. It's a great improvement.